Hello and God bless you and welcome to another sermon. Today God laid on my heart to share this with you and I hope you get something out of it. I was raised a Baptist and nothing's wrong with being a good old Baptist. I was raised with the King James Holy Bible and it was hellfire and brimstone. And to be honest with you, I never enjoyed going to church. And one of the verses I learned in the church, and I'm not bad-mouthing the Baptist church because I would not be here if it wasn't for that because it gave me a good foothold to get to know God and to the hunger to want to know more. But there I learned that the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. Now, I had a problem with that all my life. And in a way, I did not even want anything to do with church or anything to do with God because of this verse. And it was because of the interpretation that I received from my teachings. I grew up very, very, very poor and without. I did not have shoes. I did not have clothing. I did not have many things. I had shoes, but when you wear sandals in the wintertime to grammar school, you get a lot of kidding and you get a lot of uh, looks and you get a lot of uh, people looking down on you. And I was very looked down upon because I was grew up very, very poor. So when God tells me I shall not want when you grow up poor, you have to want. You need to want. Because if you don't, how are you ever going to improve your situations and circumstances? I wanted to live in a better home. I wanted to have money in my clothes for clothing, for good shoes, for a good life, for an education. And finally, when I got into my teens you know i did not god i had no interest for god and really what turned me my turning point was necessity there was no hope there was no hope there was nothing for me for my future god i prayed please help me and in that moment of time god reached down and 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 worked on my heart and changed me and said, hey, look, there's nothing wrong with wanting. Wanting is not a sin. What it's meant to say is, and what it should be said, the Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. God, I got it. And then I had an aha moment. I shall not want because God shall supply all my needs I will not lack because God is my father I shall not be without because God loves me and when I received that in my life it totally changed me and then I started building more and more of a relationship with God and now here I am teaching the sermon and thank you for joining me today. Have a great day. And hopefully that gives you some insight about this verse and about God's love for you. God bless you. Please come back and visit again. Thank you. Please like and subscribe.